What is the best way to cool down from the summer heat? Eat spicy food and sweat it out. Today we are making Korea's summer cool noodle dish called Pibik Naengmyeon. Pibik Naengmyeon is this tower of cool noodles with this spicy sauce that will literally smack you in the face because it is spicy and just highly addictive deliciousness. And I'm going to show you my hometown recipe from Sokcho, Hwenengmyeon. Hwenengmyeon is served with this fresh fish filet, sveche like in this spicy sauce. Oh boy, this is a summer delicacy that you'll love. And make sure to watch to the end. There is actually a proper way to eat this delicious dish. 오늘의 레시피 비빔 냉면 그리고 회 냉면 만들기. 오늘도 여러분들과 영어를 함께 하겠습니다. 여러분 참 행복합니다 지금. 아. Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요. 마른 페퍼의 헬렌입니다. To make our spicy sauce, yang yum jang, we need a quarter of a medium white onion, a quarter of a large Korean pear. Now, if you don't have Korean pear, you could certainly use any sweet crispy pear that you could find. And we need four garlic cloves. Make sure to chop up the pears and the onions into big chunks. This beautiful naengmyeon broth. If you want to learn how to make this naengmyeon broth, make sure to check out my mul naengmyeon video and I'll have the link below. If you don't have this broth, you could just use water instead. Half a cup of this broth. Puree in a blender until smooth. For about good 30 seconds. And in here we have half a cup of gochujang, that's Korean red pepper paste. We're gonna add our puree mixture. Make sure to scrape everything into our mixing bowl. And we have a half a cup of gochugaru, that's Korean red pepper flakes, coarse ground, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of jinganjang. But if you don't have that, you could just use any all-purpose soy sauce. One tablespoon of honey, and one tablespoon of sesame seeds. And my secret seasoning, this is one tablespoon of sogogi dashda, that's Korean beef bouillon powder. If you don't have this, just add one teaspoon of salt. And we need one teaspoon of fresh ginger. I freeze my fresh ginger so that I could keep it for a long time use. Using a microplane, I just shave in the amount I need. Now make sure to turn it over because there's always extra that's stuck. Scrape that off and then put it in there. And last but not least, we need a tablespoon of sesame oil. That's chamgirum. And then just mix. I mean, the fragrance from all the seasonings that we added in here. Oh, my mouth is salivating right now. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really good. It's spicy. <laughs> Put our lid on it. Let it rest for a couple hours. You could eat it right away, but if you let it sit in the refrigerator overnight or a couple days, it tastes better. Now we're gonna make our spicy whitefish ceviche like uh, topping for our hennengmyeon. Now, if you're not interested in this part, just skip to the timeline that you see right here. When it comes to hennengmyeon, it's usually made with this fish called hongo. That's kind of hard to find. So you could use flounder filet or any fish of your choice. But here's a tip I want to share with everyone that's very, very important when you're working with fresh filet fish. Smell it, okay? Smell it so that it smells like the salty sea. You know, like you want to be at the beach right now and just like relax <laughs> and not stuck at home with your children. <laughs> but if it smells fishy to you right now, don't use it. You want to really use the best fresh fish filet that you can buy. We have less than 250 grams of flounder filet. You can use any white fish of your choice. Now we're gonna cut our filet into thick strips about less than the width of your finger. And then pick up our filet, then put it in our mixing bowl. Then we're gonna add 
one tablespoon of coarse sea salt, and then just gently just coat the fish fillet with some salt. And then we're gonna cover our plastic wrap and let it rest in your refrigerator for 30 minutes. Here is our salted fish fillet that's been resting for 30 minutes. And then we're just gonna rinse it in cold water about two, three times. The fish looks still really, really fresh. And then to this, we're gonna just put some vinegar. I'm using brown rice vinegar, but any white, distilled white vinegar will do. And just enough so that our fish fillet is kind of soaking in the vinegar, like that. And then we're gonna cover it again with our saran wrap. And then we're gonna keep that in there for 15 minutes and come back. We're gonna rinse it in cold water, be gentle with it. It's already cooked nicely in our vinegar. Shake it a little bit. Using two pieces of paper towel, we're gonna put our fish fillet here and just gently pat it down to remove the excess liquid from the flesh of the fish fillet. And then to this, we're gonna add one tablespoon of gochugaru, that's Korean dried red pepper flakes. And then just gently toss it so that our fish fillet is covered in our gochugaru, like so. And then I want you to just leave it alone because gochugaru will start absorbing the excess liquid from the flesh of our fish fillet, which is important. So we'll come back in 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, the liquid on our fish fillet got absorbed by our gochugaru. And then we're gonna add about less than a quarter cup of our spicy sauce that we made earlier. Not too much. And then just gently mix it. Look at that. Oh my God. I wish you could smell this. Oh, this smells so good. I mean, you could just eat this as is. Bon appetit. Mm. Oh, you saw it. Oh my God, that is delicious. So you could eat this as is right now, or if you put it in your fridge for overnight or two days or so, it will taste even better. And then put it in our container, our lid and store in the fridge until you're ready to eat. Okay, cooking our noodles. It is very, very important that you cook your noodles right before you are ready to eat your naengmyeon. For more on naengmyeon noodle shopping tips, make sure to check out my mul naengmyeon video and the video link will be in the description box below. Now, if you're using the fresh noodles, it is important to break up your noodles like these guys. You wanna make sure they're, they're separated. I am cooking two servings of the noodles and it should look like this, nice and fluffy and completely separated. So while we're waiting for our water to boil, let me just give you a quick overview on naengmyeon. So naengmyeon is a North Korean cuisine. It is called Pyongyang naengmyeon after the name of the city in North Korea, Pyongyang. Now during the war, many, many Koreans migrated to South Korea. And from then on, it gave birth to so many different variations of naengmyeon. And in my humble opinion, the very best and the tastiest naengmyeon out of all the variations is hamheung naengmyeon. And hamheung naengmyeon is uniquely part of Sokcho, which is the town that I grew up in. And hae naengmyeon, the spicy fish filet ceviche topping that we're making was made in Sokcho. So, if you go to Sokcho, you will get such delicious huenengmyeon. And huenengmyeon is not something that you'll find at all Korean restaurants. So just as an FYI. In a big pot, bring your water to boil a lot. Always, always use a big, big, big pot with extra, extra boiling water so that your noodles could freely float and swim and cook well. And your heat remains at high. Add your noodles for these fresh noodles you only want to cook them for about 40 to 50 seconds at most. Dried noodles, you'll need to cook them for about three to four, four and a half minutes. And once you put the noodles in, make sure to kind of let them start moving around a little bit. And this is where you need to stay right by the pot. See the water's getting murky and make sure you don't go over 50 seconds. Grab the noodles and put them in a bowl of cold water. And then quickly bring it over to the sink, take this out, 
and kind of cool it down under running water like that. And then we're gonna dump it back in here. We're gonna add some ice. The key to making really, really yummy ningen noodles is you gotta cool down the noodles as fast as you can. And now I'm picking it up and I'm just gently rubbing them together. This is to remove the excess starch. Rub it like this for about good 10 seconds. So just pick it up like this and then hold it and then just gently guide your hand down to remove the excess water. And then you take your hand and you kind of just roll it like this. And then squeeze it one more time again and then put it on a strainer. Here we go, time to dress up our bibing naengmyeon. Ooh la la, look at that. Oh. Uh, you could put as little as you want or as much as you want, but I like it so that it's literally falling down onto the bottom of the bowl. And to this, we're gonna add a little bit of green scallions, just the green part. Then we're gonna add our pickled radish, cold beef slice, like that, ooh, that looks good. And our cucumbers, pickles, and one egg on top. We have some Korean pear, it's optional. If you don't have it, not to worry, but if you have it, it's great. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of sesame seeds. What I like to do is add just a little bit of the naengmyeon broth. Again, this recipe is in my mul naengmyeon recipe video. Just a little bit like that. All right, so let's dress up our hwenengmyeon. And our cucumber pickles. White fish spicy suveche that we made earlier. Ooh, press it down like that. And then a little bit of green scallions on top and our egg on top. And a little bit of sesame seeds on top and around. And our Korean pear slices. Yay, it's time to eat our Peeping naengmyeon. I've just been like drooling in my mouth as I was filming this today. There is actually a proper way to eat naengmyeon. So you wanna take your scissors and push everything to the side and cut like that. Bon appetit. Okay, I'm gonna have a perfect bite with you with a little bit of the beef, cucumber pickle, and a radish pickle. I wish I could feed you if I could. Mm. Mm. It is hot. <laughs> I feel like totally awake now. It just woke me up. Penangmyeon is my favorite. Favorite. What a treat. Mm. Oh my goodness. If you love ceviche, wow. This is so good. I'm starting to like literally, literally like perspire right now. Instead of drinking water when you're like, oh my God, this is raging hot in my mouth. You take a bite of the Korean pear, and because of its sweetness, it's calming my mouth down. When I'm done eating about most of the noodles, I pour more of the cold naengmyeon broth. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> this broth is so good. It will make you cool down from the summer heat. This is only because I love my non-Korean friends that love Korean food. When you eat naengmyeon and you're tasting the broth, you never, ever, ever, ever use a spoon to taste it, okay? So now all you have to do is just... Mm. Oh. And yes, I just drank slurp my noodles. Totally appropriate when you're eating naengmyeon, especially with our naengmyeon broth. This naengmyeon broth with the spicy sauce together is like another level of like... Oh. And you're supposed to literally drink all of your naengmyeon broth, okay? You cannot waste this. Don't do it. I want to thank everyone for watching today. And if you enjoyed watching today's video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon and subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼 눌러주세요. 감사합니다. Okay, folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here. 다음 비디오에서 꼭 뵙겠습니다.